Bruce Woods Solar Panel Company has grown exponentially since Act 236 was passed in 2014. In 2014, we had about 400 to 600 solar customers in the state. We probably have, I think at the end of 2017, we had 10,000 and I'd say we have 12 to 14,000 now. The government incentives made solar panels more affordable for consumers by implementing net metering, which forces utility companies to buy back the unused energy created from its customers' solar panels at an equal cost to the energy they consume. Most people with the rooftop technology stay connected to the grid so they can have a backup power source when the sun isn't shining. It's the responsibility of the utility and its customers to maintain the grid. There are costs, fixed costs that are involved that uh, you do have to manage as part of the system. Under Act 236, net metering would be in place until privately owned solar panels made up 2% of the utility's energy market in the state. Duke Carolina's customers in the upstate reached that target well ahead of its deadline. Now stakeholders are working through the next steps. Over the next few months, we're going to have these conversations. We're going to come together. And I think that at the end of the day, we're going to have a plan uh, that will really shine a light on the next phase of solar in South Carolina. For now, net metering is ending July 31st for new customers. However, customers who have already installed solar panels by that date will be grandfathered in until 2025. Legislation that would have extended the program failed earlier this year. There's going to be tons of jobs lost. Um, we've had a tremendous amount of resumes come in uh, since this has happened from other uh, national solar companies that have already um, said that they're going to be pulling out of the market. Um, and so we've had a lot of resumes come in. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we don't have a home to give them right now. Summit Solar is headquartered in downtown Greenville, but they say they won't be able to continue doing business in South Carolina if a new plan isn't implemented soon. In reality, what they're just saying is we're going to make it very difficult for you to go solar and um, very uneconomical. And so therefore, people just aren't going to go solar, um, most likely in the Duke uh, areas.